Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about how turmeric can help to mitigate neurotoxicity induced by fluoride. If you've been following our YouTube channel for any length of time, then you know that this video has been a long time coming. I should have probably made a video like this some time ago since we've had so many frequently asked questions in regards to how to protect the body or even rid the body of fluoride and just so many different questions related to fluoride health. And I think I answered it one time in an FAQ in this FAQ here where I talked about the general toxic effects of fluoride and whether it was harmful or helpful. So this is a great debate that continues to go on, although there is tons of research like this article that I'm gonna share in this video, which talks about the very well-known neurodegenerative effects and toxic effects that fluoride can have, not just to the brain, but the entire body. So I don't think I need to convince anybody here on this YouTube channel that fluoride is detrimental to your health and that it doesn't take much fluoride at all to induce a toxic effect because the body requires little to no actual fluoride to perform functions and to be healthy. And since it's so prevalent in our modern world, it's in the water system, it's in pharmaceuticals, it's in toothpaste, and it's probably within or at least on most conventional food because it is a runoff or a waste product that gets into the water system and then is sprayed on food. At the end of the day, nobody should be concerned about whether they're getting enough fluoride. Most people are gonna be concerned about getting too much of it or way too much of it. And ultimately, as this study points out, and many, many other studies point out, it is toxic to the body to the point where it actually stimulates all the excitatory processes in the body on a cellular level, leading to oxidative stress and cellular death. And this particular study that I'm referencing here actually talks about how it's well known to induce neurotoxicity. So I've seen many different times, at least in the FAQs and beneath random videos, questions about how to detoxify the body from fluoride or generally how to protect the body from fluoride. And really one of the only reasons I never answered that particular question was because I wasn't aware of anything that could detoxify the body from fluoride other than greatly reducing your exposure to fluoride. So not drinking tap water, not bathing in tap water and getting a fluoride filtering shower filter and just generally avoiding all contact in any way that you can, fluoride free toothpaste, and not taking pharmaceuticals, etc., and then the body would naturally start to detoxify it on its own. However, there are herbs like turmeric that can be incredibly protective against any sort of neurotoxicity or toxic effects from fluoride. Now keep in mind that the basic thing that fluoride does in regards to contributing to various health issues is that it induces oxidative stress and actually stimulates all of the excitatory processes that lead to cell death. And looking at this study as one specific example of this, it was found that treatment of fluoride actually causes an increase in lipid peroxidation and increases neurodegenerative cells in the hippocampus subregions. Now, if you haven't seen any of our videos related to lipid peroxidation, you could check out this video here. But specifically speaking, lipid peroxidation is a pretty simple phenomenon. It's the process of free radicals stealing electrons from the lipid cell membrane, which results in cell damage. So it's a certain type of oxidative stress, and it is generally implicated in most diseases, especially neurodegenerative diseases, as we see in this study. So fluoride induces oxidative stress by increasing the rate of lipid peroxidation, and this can lead to cell damage and cell death. And this is ultimately the basic reason you do not want fluoride in your body, is that it damages the cell and it can even excite the cell to the point of cell death. And since your whole body is just made up of cells, ultimately, if your cells start dying, your body starts dying and you experience disease. The good news is you can protect yourself from the damaging and toxic effects of fluoride. And one simple way to do that is through the use or supplementation of turmeric. So taking one more quick glance at that study, it was found that the co-treatment of curcumin, which is the major antioxidant in turmeric, for 30 days results in a significant decrease in lipid peroxidation with a corresponding decrease in neurodegeneration compared to those who were not taking turmeric but were exposed to fluoride alone. So what this study finds is that whether you're being exposed to fluoride right now, let's say you're bathing in it, or you're just getting it through certain foods or liquids that you're consuming time to time, or if you have a history of it, whatever the case is, turmeric can actually help to mitigate any of the degenerative effects 
from fluoride exposure. So for those of you that have been curious about what you could do about any sort of fluoride toxicity, my two simple tips for you would be first and foremost, remove the cause. Most of you probably already have done that. So if you haven't yet already gotten a fluoride filtering water filter for your shower head, and if you haven't switched over to you know, filtered water or distilled water, definitely be sure to do that. Otherwise, you're going to want to make sure that you're utilizing antioxidant rich herbs and supplements and foods to protect your body against any sort of outside exogenous form of toxicity. And the reason that this is important is because this study even found that antioxidant rich foods like turmeric can actually increase your body's own exogenous forms of antioxidants like glutathione, which is a master antioxidant. So in addition to turmeric, supplementing with other herbs and supplements that increase exogenous forms of glutathione and other antioxidants like superoxide dismutase, so great herbs that do this or medicinal mushrooms are actually chaga mushroom is a really fantastic one for increasing your body's own antioxidant capacity as well as schizandra berry and most of your medicinal mushrooms in fact. Anyways, for all of you who have been asking about how to protect your body from fluoride and potentially reverse its damaging effects, now you have a simple place to start. If you want to learn more about turmeric or supplement with it, be sure to watch our other videos that give you tips on how to do that, how to maximize its power and its potency and absorption. Otherwise, for actually supplementing with it, be sure to check out our online tonic herb shop in the description box below. That brings this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this. And for those of you who'd like to learn more beyond our YouTube channel, we have tons of additional information and resources on our website. We have a blog and an online wellness academy, all of which you can find in the links below.